Hey y'all, hey, it's Tracy time. I hope that you are having a fantastically sensational super soul Sunday. I have had a great day so far. We're about midway through the day on the last day of the month of June. And I wanted to touch base first before we get into it. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video and share your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you have to say when you get to the end of it. So here's where we are. We're midway through the year, literally right smack dab in the middle. And we talked a little bit some weeks ago about setting goals and being prepared and then doing an assessment of what your skills and talents are and how you want to utilize them to better yourself and not only yourself, but to better others around you and your community and then mankind overall. This is a great time to take stock of where you are in the year. If you've established monthly goals, short-term quarterly goals, or biannual goals, this is a great opportunity for you to take a moment. I couldn't get that out easily, could I? Take a moment and think about what it is you've accomplished. A lot of times we don't stop to really evaluate what we've done. We go, go, go. You hear me say I'm going to my next now all the time, but it's good to stop and take stock and inventory of what you've accomplished. It will help refuel your journey as you move forward. So first, take stock in what you've done. Take an evaluation, reassess. And then from that reassessment, also consider that number two, a retrospective. You want to give yourself an opportunity to be honest. This is just you with yourself as an honest self-reflection and retrospective about what worked well on the journey and what didn't. What do I really need to do better? And what am I doing wonderfully that I continue to do and move forward and grow and expand? That is absolutely going to help you as you go along your journey of your everyday amazingness, right? So you want to be able to just have honest conversations with yourself. And today is a great day the last day of the month of June, smack dab in the middle of the year to take inventory. So make an assessment, do a retrospective, and then plan forward. There are always things that we intend to do. We have the best of intentions to complete that we just don't quite get to. And a number of reasons, most often it's life that gets in the way and things come up and you know, you get um, detoured and sometimes that happens and that's okay because you're still moving. You're still moving. Even if it's not exactly in the pace or direction that you want it, you're still moving. And so there may have been some fail forwards. There may have been some setbacks, but you're still moving. And that's the important part. So give yourself credit for that and then take those things that you haven't quite done yet and move forward. Uh, today in my worship experience, my pastor said that to that June, is like the Wednesday of the week because it's like, okay, you're you're almost there. You're almost there. And I thought, that's really good. I'm going to use that. So she gets credit for that. Uh, Reverend Dr. Rosalind Nichols, thank you for that. And it, that's so true because on Wednesday, you've already had, you know, three days behind you and you have some days in front of you to go. And so you look at those and say, whew, like halfway there, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Or, oh my gosh, I'll be so glad, right? And so in this middle of the year, you, you've already made it. You've got the juice. Did you hear me? Yes, you. You've got the juice. So use it. Use the juice to make an inventory and assessment of where you are. Give yourself an honest and candid retrospective about what you've accomplished that's gone wonderfully and things that you may need to do better. And then last but not least, and most importantly, plan forward. Continue with the momentum or even gain momentum on the journey of your goals. And then reevaluate where you are in the next six months. So I hope this has been a blessing for you. I practice what I preach with this. I make myself goals and I give myself some, some things I use the Stephen Covey method of tracking my goals every day. I do do a two page per day. If you, those of you who use Stephen Covey and that whole principle in terms of planning, that's what I use and it's been effective. Some of my other friends use other methods and it's effective for them. So find what works for you. But whatever it is, you have to use it. You have to use the tool so that you can stay organized. Oftentimes you do so many things in a day you don't remember and then you don't give yourself credit for them when it's time to sit down and evaluate because you can't remember everything. So absolutely use something and take time out for yourself.
You know, Sunday is a fun day for many. It's a day of Sabbath for others and praise and worship for many. And I hope that you allow yourself a little bit of time for yourself today to take stock and inventory of where you are because we made it midway through the year. We got six more to go. And I hope that you and I will go on this journey together. So until we connect again, please like, share, and subscribe to my page. And don't forget to make a comment. I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? What tools do you use to stay organized and assess where you are and how you're doing on your journey? So, all right, that's it. That's all. Until next time, remember, every day amazing and own your awesomeness.